Hello guys, how's everybody doing? I hope you all doing great. You're watching Minecraft Sekai and in today's video we're gonna build a horse stable. It's right here, right in front of me. I'm gonna flip and show you. So this is the stable guys. As you can see it has five sections where you can keep the horses and a small yard in the front. In addition to that, this build includes a little house for the person who runs the stables and just right beneath the house there is a room where you can store all your hay. I would recommend you to build this inside the walls of a medieval castle, of course if you're working on building one. And I think it would fit your castle very well, especially if you have a certain empty spot and you're not sure how to fill it or with what to fill it. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully this build can help you with that. And now, let us hop on straight into the tutorial. So let's start building guys. You're gonna grab your stone bricks and start counting. So from here, we're gonna raise a pillar by four here. So one, two, three, four. Leave a space of five blocks here. One, two, three, four, five. And raise another pillar by four just like so twist do the same thing here a space of five one two three four another space of five and one two three four now you're gonna get your stones and fill in these these gaps here Now we're gonna grab your dark oak log and start counting again. So, one, two, three, four, five, right there. Come to this corner here, raise another pillar by five. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, every corner, raise a pillar by five. So, one, two, three, four, five here. One, two, three, four, five. Just like so. Now, you're gonna come here and we're gonna make some cross beams connecting these pillars just like so get now get your stripped oak log and start placing from from here so one two three four here skip one block one two three four skip another block and one two three four get your dark oak log and place them in these gaps that will live here so one two three four one two three four now do this in every side just like so Now we're going to work on the roof of this house here. So, we're going to make a row of stairs right here, just like so, overhanging by one block in each side, just like so. Let's do it here on this side. There we go. Now, get uh, place an upside down stair here. One here, uh, get your spruce plank, place one here, one here, stair here, another one here, upside down, upside down, two blocks here, two here, stair, stair, upside down stair, upside down stair, full block, full block regular placed stair and another one right there an upside down stair between these two full blocks let's do it one more time here just like we did there on this side Now, 
now we're gonna get your uh, oak log placeholder right there and extend a, a cross beam till it pops out one block and the other side just like so let's extend this one as well till it pops out by one right there now get your spruce planks place one here one here spruce stair here and another upside down stair right here now get your slab your spruce slab place one here two one two one two one just like so now you're gonna get your oak stairs and planks and fill in this side and also the other side as well Now you're gonna get your dark oak log, place place uh, a pillar here, I mean make a pillar here till it gets to, to the top right here, it meets that plank right there. Let's do it here as well. Get your stripped oak log and just do the same as we did with this other pillar, just like so. Let's do it on the other side as well. Now we're gonna make some windows, so we're gonna come here in the back, knock off one, two, three, four blocks, just like so. Place one uh, stair here, regular placed stair, and an upside down stair right there. We're gonna pu put gla glass later there, but just leave it like that for now. I'm gonna put another uh, one block window right here, just like so. Now we're gonna come here, we're gonna get to the end side of the, the house and we're gonna make some flooring. So we're gonna get your dark oak logs and put two cross beams, make two cross beams right here, just like so. Get your spruce stairs, place them upside down here, upside down, upside down. Another row of upside down stairs right there. Then get your trap doors and place them right here. So three here, three here, and another three right here, just like so. Now let's make this floor here. So cross beams again. This time we're gonna put a cross beam here, one here, one here, just like so. We're gonna do the same thing as we did down there. So, upside down stairs and some spruce trap doors, just like so. Now, you're gonna get your oak stairs, knock off these full blocks right here, and replace them with stairs, just like so. There we go. Knock off this one here and put a trap door here so we can make a, uh, a way a way up right here right here. I'm gonna put ladder later. Now we're gonna make a way up a staircase going up to the, the house here. So get your oak stair, place one here. I'm gonna put a door later again. So uh, get your dark oak log, place one, two here, 
uh, come down here and count one, two, and raise a pillar till it, it's one block higher than this cross beam, letter cross beam here. So you can do a, a letter cross beam here as well. One, two, and another pillar going up, just like so. We're gonna come here, gonna count one, two, on the third one, place a, a block, a, a log sideways right here. Uh, raise another pillar, it, it's one block higher than this one, then we're going to do the same thing. So one, two, three, one here, and one, two, three, four, there we go. Now we're going to get your slabs, get your spruce stairs, place them right here, going down just like so. We're gonna come here, down here to, to the back. We're gonna put some upside down stairs so we can make this pretty. Now get your spruce trap doors, place one, two here. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Close them all off just like so, and I'll leave this this one right here so you can come back later and put some storage there. Now we're gonna get a door, and a ladder, and we should be finished with this house right here so just put a ladder there yeah I forgot to yeah just get your spruce fences and place them right here another one here and here now we should be done with the with the house uh, what, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on the the sections where, where the the horses are gonna stay so, get your stone brick and come here, count from this, this uh, pillar here. So, count one, two, three. Raise a pillar here by four, just like this one. Twist here and count one, two, three, four. And raise another pillar, just like so, by four. Get your stone and fill in these gaps, just like so. Now get your stone brick stairs and place one here and one here. Get your trap door and place it in between, just like so. Get your uh, dark oak log and make a cross beam right here. So one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four. Another one here. One, two, three, four. Now, get your spruce stairs and uh, make a row here of spruce stairs with, yeah, one uh, stair uh, overhanging by one right here. An upside down stair here. Upside down stair right there. Get your slabs, spruce slabs. And place one here, and yeah, just go gradually up till you meet this this wall here. So, just like so. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just like so. Now fill in this, uh, yeah, this gap here, just like so. This one as well, and get your oak slabs and fill in this gap.
Now get your dark oak logs and let's make a, a little uh, roof here. I mean ceiling, not a roof. So we have just cross beams and stairs upside down and spruce trap doors, the usual ceiling. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some stone bricks and we're going to work on the other four uh, sections. So start placing here. So one, two, three, four. A pillar raised by four, just like so. Another one here. One, two, three, four. Come here, count one, two, three, and raise another pillar by four, just like so. We have uh, one block gap here, and raise another pillar by four. Three block gap, another pillar by four. We have another uh, gap of one block here and raise a pillar by four just like so let's see one two yeah another gap of three blocks here raise a pillar by four just like so a gap of one raise a pillar by four and the last gap of three and raise a pillar by four just like so so we've got one two three four uh three gaps and one two three uh, one block gaps, so yeah, uh, three, uh, three, <laughs> three, three block gaps, and uh, I mean four, three block gaps, and three, one block gaps, just like that. <laughs> it's pretty confusing. Now we're gonna do the same thing here, the same gaps, same pillars. Yeah, one more time here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your stone, regular stone, and fill in some gaps here. So I'm going to fill in this one here, this wall, this one here, this one, and this one. I'm going to twist here and fill in this other one here. Get your uh, dark oak logs and we're gonna raise some uh, log, I mean pillars, wood, wooden pillars, right between these two uh, stone brick pillars. We're gonna do it here, we're gonna do it in the back as well. Now we're gonna come here and we're gonna separate these sections. So we're gonna make walls here with little tiny windows in the middle of each wall. So a pillar here, a pillar here. Get your stripped oak log and make two pillars here and then knock off four blocks and get your slabs. And place them right here, so just like so. Now we're gonna make this same pattern, the same design here, here, yeah, just two more times. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your spruce planks, place one here, one here, one here. So one in front of each uh, wooden pillar. We're gonna do it in the back here as well. So here, here, and here. You're gonna get your uh, spruce stairs, place them upside down here, upside down here, 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 and here and yeah do just the same thing as uh, I'm doing right here so every uh, spruce uh, plank here place two 
upside down stairs and uh, yeah, each side of, of the bank, just like so. Now we're gonna work on the the roof. Yeah, the the roofs of these sections, the little tiny roofs. So we're gonna start by building this one here. We're gonna come here and make a row of stairs, just uh, the usual as we always do, and uh, yeah, as we always start when we make him the a medieval roof. So just let's do this. Get your stairs again. Place one here, one here. Upside down here, upside down here, uh, full block, full block, and an upside down right here, regular, regular, and there we go. We're gonna do this same pattern again in the back, just like so, so, upside down there, regular here, regular, upside down, upside down. Full block, full block, regular, regular, and an upside down bit, uh, right between these two blocks. Now we're gonna make a cross beam with our oak log, just as we always do, just like so, going all the way to the other side till it pops out by one, just like so. Now get your uh, full block, place one here, one here. Your spruce there, place it here, here, get your spruce slabs, place one here, two here, one, two, get your stairs, place one here, and one facing this way, just like so. Now we're going to fill in this side and also the other side with uh, these uh, oak stairs and Blanks, so oak, with oak, just like so. We're gonna get now your, your spruce trap doors and place them on this wall here, just like so. Now we're done with the, the roof. What we're going to do now is uh, repeat this same roof just three more times. So here you can see me going through building the three remaining roof bits and I decided to make a time lapse through that process because I didn't want to cut that and leave you all confused. So yeah, hopefully this time lapse can help. Now you can see me here doing some texturing with a palette of stone bricks, cobblestone and andesite.
So let's continue the tutorial guys. You're gonna get your stones and we're gonna work on these settings here. So first we're gonna add a block to this wall here. One more block. Then you're gonna get your oak slabs. Place a row of slabs right here on the side. Another one on this side. And a row of full blocks here covering this log, this cross beam here. Let's do it on each side here, so three more times. Now we're gonna get your stone brick walls and place them right here. So one here, one here, one here, one right below this uh, stair, another one right below this stair here, one here, 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 and another one right below this overhanging stair. Then you're gonna get your spruce fence, place two here on top of every uh, wall that you've placed. So two here, here, all the way around. Now we're gonna get your fence uh, gates and place them here in every section, just like so. Yeah, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this uh, front yard here. So we're gonna get your dark oak logs and start placing. So from this block here, raise a pillar of wood by uh, four. So one, two, three, four here. Skip a three block gap and add another uh, pillar here raised by four. So here, uh, skip a two gap block here, raise another pillar by four. So we're gonna skip three block here, three block gap, and add another pillar raised by four. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna skip three blocks and add a pillar then, till we get to this uh, block right here. So we'll get to, he to this block here. So we're gonna do that. One, two, three here, raise a pillar, and just do this till we get there. There we go, so there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pillars. Now we're gonna get your stone bricks. There's one, two, three, four here. Get your stairs, stone brick stairs. Place an upside down here, upside down here. And a spruce trap door right there. You're gonna get your stripped oak logs now. Place one, two, three here, one, two, three in every gap. Two here. Then you're gonna get your spruce fences and place them on top of every gap here. So on the top, just like this. Then you're gonna get your spruce trap doors, place them on the fences that you've placed. Get your spruce slabs, place them on the exposed logs. Place the spruce slabs also on top of these exposed logs right down here. I mean stripped oak logs. Now we're gonna get your spruce trap doors and we're gonna try to make a door to this entrance here. We're gonna, gonna place one, two, three here. One, two, three. And another th three from the inside right here. Okay. 
I'm gonna do it right here as well. So you're gonna come here, place uh, from the inside. One, two, three here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then break these two metal uh, trap doors and get your door and place it right here on the outside, just like so. You're also gonna get your spruce fences and place them right here. So one, two, three here, one, two, three. There we go. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a doorway to this uh, storage room here. You can put storage here or just uh, hay right there. Get a, get a stone bricks there, and a try, I mean a door here, and there we go. You can make two doors if you want, just like so. And yeah, that's the build now. I'm gonna show you what I did in there. I textured a lot and uh, add in some details and some interior in the house as well. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. So I uh, just some haze there, some barrels of water and water where, where the, the horses can drink right here. This is the, the room where I put the hay, as you can see here. Now I'm going to show you the interior of the house of the person who runs the stable. So this is his desk where he sits. And a bedroom right up here. Some storage here and a bed. Uh, that's the build now so yeah that was the tutorial guys i hope you liked today's build don't forget to leave a like and if you like my building designs and you want more tutorials subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything thanks for watching guys and see you in another video with a new build